Okay, for today's project, we're going to be working on this table. I built this oh, quite a few years ago. We have them in the basement and we set the stuff on there. We had a bunch of cardboard boxes and we wanted to keep them off the floor. And I thought, well, we'll give them some legs and that'll get it up high enough so you don't have to bend over so much when you want to look in your boxes. So now we're switching over to plastic totes. We got all different sizes. So I measured the biggest one we got and I'm going to have to have some clearance of about 16 and a half to 17 inches. So I'm going to go about 18 and a half inches to give us a little bit of clearance. So I'll be taking these legs out and replacing them with 22 inch long legs. And they're screwed in and I think they're glued in and I think there's a couple of staples in them. Yeah, they're going to be fun to take out. Well, let's get to it. That's one of them. These staples, I find if you cut them off, make them a lot shorter. They have a lot less tendency to bend when you're trying to knock them out. Okay, here I got some, well, just a piece of scrap. I, I don't know, used it on one project <clears throat> many years ago. And I figured these will make good legs. So we'll just cut them up. Okay, uh, now we're just gonna cut them to length. I've already squared this end. I got my stop set up at 22 and a half. And now Here I have a speed square set up. Here you got a 45 degree angle. And what we're gonna do is just chamfer the ends of these so the bottom of the feet don't chip out when you drag it across the floor. Here I've set the fence up. I've got a, a block here so you'll never bind your wood when you go past it. And you don't want to go along your fence because there is a chance that if your fence is out a little bit or you move it, you could bind it and send your wood flying back at yourself. So we got this one set and I've also set the height for the blade. This is the old leg, so I got the height set for a half inch. That's what my skirts are. So uh, we'll cut one here. Okay, I got this end chamfered, so this is the 
other end that we we're going to cut. So we're only going to do two sides of it. We're just gonna ease the edges here a bit. Always nice for the feel and it's good for when you do the finishing. You're gonna paint it or varnish it. It's a lot easier to have the paint hold on the edges. As a sharp edge, the paint will never hang on to that. So just gonna give it a quick sand and do all four legs and then we'll assemble it. Here we're just going to fasten the legs. I like to use a bit of glue and I'm just going to staple them on and I'm going to drive some uh, screws in it. Why this glue bottle must be running low. Whilst we're plugging up, some guy forgot to put the cap on it or something. Ah, that's better. Okay, here we got the uh, legs all attached now. Now, we got more space in here. Now we got 18 and a half inches. We can slide our totes right in here for storage. And underneath here, well, we don't want to put anything on the floor. So this is going to be left empty. And we're going to be piling on top also. I'm going to be putting some metal L brackets in here to hold the legs where they're at. That way you don't accidentally get knocked off when you're putting stuff away. So it's gonna to seem to work out pretty good. I got a couple more of these that I gotta modify. Like this is what they are originally. I've got three downstairs right now, like this sitting on the floor. And I got a couple extra that I'm gonna modify with the longer legs. Well, we'll have to see if this works out. And if it does, I'm gonna be doing another two for sure. So thanks for watching and please subscribe and share. Okay, we'll catch you later.